Welcome to SD72's video on the registration process for multi-factor authentication. Our new reality is living in an age where we are being bombarded by attempts to access sensitive information. Our school network has been targeted by hackers, both real and artificial, who are trying to gain unauthorized access to sensitive information. Although we have safeguards in place that prevent the majority of these hits without us even knowing about it, there still is a small percentage that get through, often with harmful consequences. There is a way to prevent this, and it's called multi-factor authentication. This adds an additional layer of security, making it more difficult for the hackers. It's standard practice in many businesses now, such as the banking system. The district is asking that all staff enable MFA, or multi-factor authentication, on their school account to keep ours and our students' information safe. It's not hard to do, just follow the steps in this video, and if you have any problems, get in touch with our IT team. The registration process must be completed on a school district device, so please make sure you have access to this. You will also need your cell phone as the Microsoft Authenticator app will be used for multi-factor authentication. This is available in iOS and Android. So let's get started. The first thing I recommend you do is installing the Microsoft Authenticator app on your smartphone. It can be accessed from the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. Be sure you are installing the Microsoft Authenticator as there are a number of different options available. Now, open up a browser on your computer and type in the following URL, aka.ms forward slash my security info. This will bring you to a screen where you sign in using your SD72 email address and password. Click yes to keep you signed in. If you are receiving this message to verify your identity, this means at one point you have registered for password reset. If you don't see this message, just skip ahead to 250 in this video. Verify your identity by clicking on the icon and entering the code that is sent to you, either text, phone call, or email. Click Verify. Stay signed in. Because we're using Microsoft Authenticator as our multi-factor authentication method, we must add this to our verification methods. Click on the link Add Sign-in Method. From the drop-down method, select Authenticator App. Click Add. You will then be prompted with a number of on-screen instructions. If you have not already installed the app, do so now. One important thing to note, if at any time throughout this process you receive a prompt to allow notifications, please click Allow. Launch the Authenticator app on your mobile phone. The icon looks like this. Once open, tap the plus button in the upper right hand corner to add a new account. Choose Work or School Account and select Scan QR Code. Click Next on your computer. Use the blue handles on the phone screen to frame the QR code on your school device. Your cell phone will automatically scan the QR code and add your Microsoft School account to the Authenticator app for you. This happens very quickly and you don't have to do anything at all. It will then test the authentication process by showing a number on screen. Tap the matching number in the Authenticator app on your cell phone. You have now successfully registered your device for multi-factor authentication. Click Done. The next step, if you haven't done so already, is to add a cell phone. If you do have a cell phone added here, you can skip to 525 of the video. Adding a cell phone ensures that if you can't use the Microsoft Authenticator app, you still have a method for verification. This is done by. Click on Add Sign-in Method. Select Phone. Select Canada as the location and enter in your 10-digit cell phone number. 
You will then be sent a verification code to this number. Enter in the box provided. This has now completed the registration process. Before closing this screen, do one last check. Make sure that Microsoft Authenticator is your default sign-in method and you have one additional method for verifying in case you don't have your Microsoft Authenticator app. Methods of verification configured on this My Sign Ins page not only work with MFA, but also work in the password portal where you recover or change your password. The verification options here are the same ones that you just entered in and are using for your multi factor authentication. Once multi factor authentication is activated for all users in ST72, you may be prompted to authenticate depending on the situation. For example, if you are using a personal device at home where the Wi-Fi isn't recognized, you will be prompted. If the system thinks there's an outside threat, someone else pretending to be you like the phishing emails we've been seeing recently, you may be prompted. However, if you are using an SD72 issued device at work, you will not be prompted. If at any point during this process you have trouble, contact the help desk using the email address on the screen. Please be as specific as you can, even providing screenshots if possible. This will make it much easier to help you. Finally, thank you very much for going through this process and for helping to keep both yours and your students' information safe.